Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel if you're returning. If you're new here, my name is Tori and I am going to be planning for the week of October the 9th through the 15th in my Hobonichi cousin. So yeah, this is the first week where right around, I think, Honestly, it was Friday, or was it Saturday? It could have been Saturday. I don't know. It was the first week where the temperature got down to the 60s and stayed in the 60s, and I am living for it. Um, I feel like we've collectively manifested this for ourselves, <laughs> and it's about freaking time. So, so I'm going to be using some more Halloween-themed stickers because... Turns out, as I was going through my stickers, I actually have a lot of them, which makes sense because it's one of my favorite holidays. Um, so I'm going to use this sheet from Mimosa Studios. Uh, you can find her on Etsy. I actually found her at an anime con that I went to, so I was very lucky to meet her in person. But she has the most adorable art style, and these are just saying Halloween. Um, so I figured I'd use this sheet just for this weekly spread and um, go from there. So, and I also have this washi that I want to use. It's like a purple pink gradient washi and I am slowly, like, one, I, I just, I'm obsessed with Helen and, uh, and anything she does and it's probably kind of creepy to say that, but it's not like a, it, you know, I just really enjoy watching her content. And when she put out that she was trying to use up a thing of washi tape, I was like, yeah, that sounds like a great idea because I have a full drawer of it that's not organized and it's not in pretty little rows. Um, and I just kind of like go in blind half the time. I don't even look at what I'm picking out because... I just, it, it's overwhelming. I'm sure it would be less if it was organized, but at the same time, maybe it wouldn't. I don't know. I just have a lot of washi because there's so many cute washi tapes out there. How could you not? So it's a struggle and I'm sure you all understand. <laughs> um, okay, so that's as like, far as my plan went. So I also have to figure out what I'm going to do for habit trackers excuse my squeaky chair um yeah i don't know i do want to use up more of these things from shine sticker studio as highlights so i might use that one and then i don't really i don't know habits 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 I guess I'll just write them in since I don't have stickers for it and I'm okay with that. The idea is to get through the stickers I own so that I can calm down. <laughs> um, my goal in 2024 is to calm down <laughs> because I love the Hobonichi but I want to be less maximalist in my chonk. Um, I'm trying to like still play in it for sure but find different ways that doesn't or find different ways that don't um, thicken up the book so quickly. I think I'm also going to use some of these. Um, these were part of the Shine Sticker Studio sub kit for like J June or something. I don't know. It was their pirate theme. But I mean it has a little bit of everything in there. So I think I'm going to use that to kind of play off the colors in the sheet. It looks like the only sh color that's not really in there is blue. But... I, I want to use my stickers up, so let me grab my, ooh, some tweezers here, and let's get going. Okay, so also, anybody else realize we have a Friday the 13th? And I'm not sure... I kind of want to know. I thought I saw that there was like a um, full moon the same week or something. I'm not a fan. Yeah. 
Friday the 13th and a full moon on the same weekend. That's fun. Isn't that the full or is that a new moon? Somebody let me know. But either way, it's going to be an interesting week. <laughs> uh, so let's go ahead and I think I'll do the... Let me do some highlights first. Do I have like a little header? I don't know that I do. Um, I think I'll just use these stars. They need to get used up as well. So let's see. I'm just gonna use the basic zebra fountain pen. And I wanted to use this purple one for the highlights. And then I think I'll use, well, I may need a gel pen for the stickers. So, let's see. Do this long one right here. Ah! It's a lot happening. Okay. And that's from the, uh, Hobonichi Cousin Kit from the Coffee Monsters Co. And it's the Pastel Galaxy one that I used. So, didn't use up everything. Which, I find that a lot of sticker shops give you way more than a week's worth of stickers when you get a kit. So, it's, it's a nice return on investment if you want to think of it that way. Alright, so that one didn't have enough for me to do all seven days, so I just added another one down at the bottom. Who who cares at this point? So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I might use no. I don't think there's enough room to do all that. So we'll do we do meds, grooming, tidy. So yeah, let's let's just use the rest of the stars here as little notes for that. Okay, and then to mark out like the days, I'll just do some dots. And that's the sidebar. So let's move on to today. And guess who didn't grab their work plans before they started this? <laughs> um, I also need to see what the Sorry, y'all. I'm just trying to see. It's the 9th. Yeah, the 10th and the 11th, I think, are going to be very, um, busy because there's going to be circulation shifts because we're really short-staffed on these two days. Alright, while I'm waiting for my plans to load in my email, because our our boss sent out like a special schedule for these two days and I did not write it down. I just kept it in my email and I can't access my email on my phone because that's what's recording this. So I am going to wait for my computer to load. And while I do that, I'm gonna put down some stickers and let's see, we'll put this little lady down here in the corner. Then, I don't know, get the bunny with a knife down at the right side. Um, let's see. Do, I feel like he belongs on the 13th. 
to be honest. Friday the 13th is like, that's, why? You know, like, that is, uh, you know, like, the 2020 energy that we were so hopeful because all of the holidays lined up, like, perfectly, and, like, Halloween was on a Saturday, and Christmas was on a Saturday. Like, all of the, I don't think Christmas was on a Saturday, actually, I don't know. I covered up my pre- it doesn't matter. All I'm saying is 2020 was like supposed to be the year and it's like 2023 was like the antithesis of those hopes that we had for 2020 um flipped in my opinion like we got Friday the 13th on a like why? Why? <sighs> I mean 2020 sucked don't get me wrong but and it sucked for a lot of different reasons for a lot of different people but 2023 is also not a friendly one for me at all and I know I've stated that multiple times but oh I can't wait for it to be over so put this guy above the mini week on my calendar give him some crystals next to him <laughs> um I'll do this one up top, too. And then that one will get a little potion. And then all we have left are these little stars, which I think I'm going to write down weekend over here um, in my Funosuke brush pen and put the stars around that. So, okay. So, I'll put these. I really like the quality of these stickers. Like, it's a, I feel like it's a heavier um, matte vinyl than I'm, like it's in between, I don't know how to explain it. It's not heavy, but it's not like, what's the word? thin either like this is this is good quality and not to say that other stuff that I use isn't but like I just feel like this is not a sticker paper I've come across before there's something about it that I really like so and of course I chose last night I guess no I think somebody somebody I think somebody else no nobody else could have come over here Tori um I think my computer decided to update in the middle of the night, which that's fine. But also now I need to access my email and I'm like, come on, let's go. Let's, let's go. So I work Monday through Thursday. Um, let me get some of these headers again, but do I have enough? I have blue ones. Okay, I'm just going to use these um, boxes to mark, like, put next to my work shifts, I guess. Okay, like the only good one is that one. <laughs> Those look not great, but it'll be all right. It doesn't really affect anything. So I'm gonna draw in my arrows. put in the programs which that should be interesting since these dates I'm gonna have to work it out to where like I will still have programs but I'm also gonna have to be on the circulation desk a little bit so I'll have to work with my co-workers to see how we can do that because the schedule that came out was 
t like it was given to us after I had already published these to the public. So I can't exactly take them back. <laughs> um, it's not a big deal. It's just a little bit of time management and teamwork. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> we will see how that's going to go. I'm trying to get my work email up so I can see what she said. Oh. Um, while I'm waiting on this, I watched, let's see, what, give you a Halloween movie update. I watched Annabelle, and I think that's the only one I got to this week, and I finished Fourth Wing. Holy cow, on a biscuit. Fourth Wing, if you haven't read it, and you're like, you're like Tori, who's like, usually like, I don't want to get into the biggest fad. There's a reason they're fads, okay? There's a reason it's a trending book. And it's because it's so freaking good. <laughs> um, I highly recommend some fourth wing. I read it in like two days and it was all consuming. It was probably not healthy. And I have no regrets at all. It, it, it is a wonderful read. I pre-ordered the second book before I even finished the first one because I'm that obsessed with it. So, um, yeah. Okay. Come on. My inbox all looks the same when I'm trying to find something. And if you're team Outlook, please tell me why because I do not like Outlook. <laughs> I am a Gmail galley. Galley? Gmail gal? Girly? I just tried to say galley and girly in the same... Or gal and girly and it came out galley. Anyways, I am not a huge Outlook fan. I don't think it's intuitive a lot. Like, there are some parts that I'm like, hey, that actually is nice. But, they're few and far between, for sure. And it's hearing me talk about it because it's being so slow. It's like, okay. You want to talk bad about me? Bet. Try to get your email. Ugh. Okay. I'm just gonna write in stuff. <laughs> um, okay, so I have... 10 a.m. program here. Don't know how I want to put that in here. Okay, I think what I will do is I'll use up some of these from the Coffee Monsters Co. again. And I'll put like the kid programs with the stars so I can remember. Alright, so that's at 10. And then nothing else that day. Tuesday is always the bigger day because I always have at least two programs on Tuesdays. Then, last but not least, all right, and then my other three is teen book club and then a branch story time i also have a meeting here and there's going to be a branch program on this day i'm not in charge of it but i do want to mark it just in case she has any questions so i'm gonna put the gray one down for that to like give myself the visual that like it's not me that's doing it but i want to make sure that um I'm essentially, like, checking my email if she has questions. Um, and then, like, for the slime that I do, I am always looking for the fastest, most <laughs> efficient way to do stuff. So, the slime I do is not, like, it's not intricate, I guess. Um, it is the most basic slime recipe ever. And I keep it that way on purpose because usually I'm doing a program with at least 20 kids um, and trying to get them all to do like multiple steps to a project is just, it's, it's a lot. So, um, let's see. I just, I just don't even try that. So all I do is the slime 
recipe where you mix cornstarch and um, dish soap together. And you have to get like a good amount of cornstarch to dish soap ratio. Like the recipe calls for one, one half tablespoon of dish soap and two tablespoons of cornstarch, but sometimes you have to change it. I just had to mute a lot of that because of dogs and things happening but I also have a two-hour meeting on Thursday so need to mark that in and what I didn't do last week is I didn't do my trash day like I always do RIP man so I want to make sure I get that in here somehow some way I wonder, I wonder if I can take this, which I'm never going to be weighing in. <laughs> I don't, I don't like that. Um, but it was from a Planner Kate sampler. So I didn't really like choose what I got. It just came and I'm thinking we'll put the trash can there. And then, wait for it. Am I a genius or am I a genius? Come on, that's amazing. Okay, I feel like if there's one thing you will always receive from my channel is like how to Frankenstein your planner to work with any kind of sticker <laughs> because I just I I don't like not using what I buy <laughs> so um yeah that was interesting and it was very unplanned and it came out great flying by the seat of my pants now let me see if I can finally access this email I will be working circulation from 11 30 to 12 15 because of how strangely staffed we will be no okay yes 11 30 to 12 15 that's not bad at all um i want to use coffee cups for that though so let me move over to my other stickers here. Get my coffee cups going. Mm, what do I want to use? Mm. I love these ones from Lexington Flair because they're smaller, but... I think I'll use maybe one. I think I'll use these because I haven't used them a lot yet. So I think I'll go with the pink one sitting in the mug. A cute little emoji. Or maybe that one. I like that he's reading a book. Not that I would be able to read a book a lot on circulation, but I don't drink cold coffee. It freaks me out. Uh, I don't, I, I just, I don't, something about it. I'm sure that's not a lot of people in this world, but something about cold coffee just feels so wrong to my body. So we are warm coffee drinkers and I got this cup at Dollar General. Isn't it cute with all the puppies? 
I don't want to tip it because I can't really like got coffee in there but I love the one showing his belly right here so cute anyways I'm just weird about cold coffee and when I order coffee at a Starbucks or something and I forget to tell them the temperature they always assume I'm a cold brew like I'm a cold brew girly and it hurts my feelings they don't they don't know me so like they're going off the assumption so it's understandable but I would be lying if I told you I didn't take it personally sometimes <laughs> oh man okay so I said 11, 30, 12, 15. So basically an hour. That's not bad at all. And since this is not my work planner anymore, like this isn't my catch-all planner. I mean, like I don't really have a catch-all now because I've divided it out. But I mean, this is my memory keeping situation. So I'm okay with it not being exactly during in the time slots um, because really it's gonna take place while this program is taking place at another branch but like I said I wanted to note that it was happening so that I know to keep my eye on my email if she has questions so Wednesday I feel like I like this little dude drowning in the uh French is that a French press right I'm not like I love coffee but I'm not I guess I'm not into the delivery method. I just want the liquid. <laughs> um, so we'll put him higher up since. Oh, not that high. Oh no, can I get him out? Yeah. There we go. And Waffles has chosen now to chew on a bone. So if you hear his little teeth go into town, that is why. Okay, um, gonna mark down payday and probably put in some to-dos on Monday because I don't know that I have anything else planned. So, let's see. Okay, there was nothing in my other, other, um, book that really said payday so I think I'll just put in one of these Lunas hold in her payday sign that way I can just have it and not even have to write it down all right then um yeah, the to-do lists. Okay. I'll do one. To-do list. Maybe the purple right here. And we'll make a little checklist, I think. Maybe. Thought I had like one more pink one. Yes, I do. I'll do that. So now I'm going to write a quick list of things that I probably need to work on and go from there. I'm not sure what else I would need to do other than like stuff I'm already going to be doing anyways. So let me check my monthly. I know I wrote a list there. So let's see. Ah, okay. Yes. And then that's what it is. So on the weekend, I have to do an outreach program at 10 a.m. So I do need to put that down as something I need to make sure that I don't forget. So, and then I also need to make sure that somehow I shave off two hours. 
somewhere in this schedule, probably on Wednesday, <laughs> since I don't have anything else planned on Wednesday. Um, let's see. We'll do this one. 10 to 12. Perfect. 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 Okay. That, I believe, is everything. So, if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for spending another Sunday or whatever day you're watching this on um, with me. And if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below. I'd be happy to talk with you further. And thank you for watching. I hope you'll consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed. And consider giving this video a thumb up to help me, a thumbs up to help me grow. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.